Hey everybody, welcome to Burrotech. In this episode, I'm gonna be exploring an article that says that the video game industry is bigger than the movie industry and the sports industry. Let's check it out. All right, welcome back. For this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers you get, the more content we can make. The number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing channel is because you wanna get into the money-making trends before they go mainstream. So the video game industry used to be a cottage industry. Believe it or not, if you grew up with the NES or the SNES or the Sega Genesis, a lot of those games were produced, well, basically by a few or a small team in somewhat of a cottage industry. And now the video game industry is now bigger than, well, the movie industry, the sports industry. And I'm gonna throw in the music industry as well. Now it's not surprising that the video game industry is bigger than the music industry. The music industry is probably the textbook example of something that everybody wants but doesn't really know how to monetize it. The music industry is such a terrible industry, but that's a story for a different time. So let's take a look at that claim and really kind of think through if the video game industry is in fact bigger than the movie industry and the sports industry. Now believe it or not, sports participation is going down. The Super Bowl gets viewed less and less year over year, and this makes sense because, well, a lot of people, well, don't really like watching football as much, but what's taking away people's time is, of course, the video game industry, and we could arguably attribute this to the eSports. Now, eSports is something that is fairly new, but it does make sense because why did people watch sports in the first place? Well, they maybe played hockey or football or basketball with their friends at recess when they're growing up, and then they can go watch professionals play those sports and, well, be frankly better than you and your friends. And to see that these professionals do all these amazing things on TV, well, or at a stadium, it's quite impressive. Now, video games work the same way. You play video games in your room or with friends, and you see professionals do it a lot better than you. It's no wonder things like StarCraft or Overwatch are now eSports and big eSports because you can play those in your spare time, and you can see professionals just absolutely crush those games. And it's quite fun to watch StarCraft and Overwatch. I do like watching it. In fact, I like watching eSports more than I like watching sports. But then again, I don't really watch sports all that much anymore. But if I were to watch sports, I do like the eSports a little bit better. Now, maybe that's just because I do like playing video games and the eSports is kind of a more engaging experience than just watching sports. In fact, if you do watch a football game, there isn't really much action. There's a lot of commercials and there's a lot of downtime in between plays. And not only that, a lot of young people are going into commentating these eSports and they are very good and very engaging and frankly, a lot better to listen to than a lot of the traditional sports. Now remember, I actually do like playing sports quite a bit, and sports are definitely a good thing. We do want people to get out and move around and play sports like, you know, tennis, ultimate frisbee, hockey. It doesn't matter what sport you want to play. It's definitely a good thing to do, and it's also good to go to the games if you and your friends want to do that. But as the purpose of this video states, I'm trying to explore how the video game industry got to be so big in the first place. And the reason is, is that the dissemination of all the content becomes incredibly easy and frictionless, and it's a lot more engaging. If you ever go to a sports arena, it's full of ads. And while mobile games can also be full of ads too, and YouTube videos promoting these mobile games can be full of ads. The thing is, is that the video games do it in such a better and more engaging way, and it's a little less intrusive. You know, a little while ago, I watched TV with ads for the first time the other day, and it was absolutely excruciatingly painful. I can't tell you how impressed I am with Netflix and all those streaming services to take ads out of the equation. And by the way, if those streaming services ever add in ads, well, that's probably a death sentence for them because I will absolutely do something else with my time. So video games are a very good way to pass the time as long as you don't do them too much. Personally, I like to spend at least a few hours a week playing video games just to make sure that my skills are up to date. And of course, it depends on the kind of video game that you're actually playing. But if you play too much of it and sit around too much, that's obviously not good for you. Also, it's very easy to snack on unhealthy food while you're playing video games. And I definitely love doing this myself. And I know how easy it is to fall into that. I know how easy it is to play video games all night and just order pizza and do literally no work and burn no calories. 
So at the same time, video games are definitely good, but you shouldn't do them too much. So because of all of this, it's not surprising that the video game industry is huge. Now, not only is the video game industry huge, the scope of the industry is incredibly large. There are so many different kinds of games that it encompasses a lot of different people. So it's no wonder that there's a lot of people that want to play video games. The video game is so much more inclusive in terms of its client base versus sports or even movies. Now let's take a look at the movie industry. Now of course streaming and movies are obviously on the rise as every company needs its own streaming service and its own original content. And by the way, believe it or not, a few years ago there was an actor shortage, which is something very weird to say. I'm sure your guidance counselor would have never told you that there would ever be an actor shortage. But believe it or not, with all these streaming services competing, for content and for exclusive content, it makes sense. There's just not enough people to do the work. And believe it or not, acting can be quite challenging. So there is a certain level of skill that requires these actors to be at in order to make a movie. You can't just pull in some drama major and put them into a Netflix original series as the star and hope it works out. Now, of course, you might be able to do that with the top 1% of drama students, but that's not necessarily going to happen because Believe it or not, it does take a lot more training and you need to be fairly experienced to make that work. But at the same time though, there is only so much money to be made with films. So though TV and films include a lot of people, the video game industry is way better at monetizing this base. And as the video game industry gets more and more successful and bigger and bigger and encompasses more and more people, you can expect it to be better. Now the big question is, is how can you profit from this information? Well, the first thing that you need to understand is that one, you can make video games, or two, you can make tools that make video games. And if you haven't already known, Unity and Unreal are in this big battle to buy out things. Just the other day, Unity purchased a company for $320 million. That's a huge amount of money, and it's actually a quite good acquisition for them as well. So if you learn to code and make video games and are good at what you do, you will have a job because the video game industry is not going anywhere. It will continue to get better and better, and as projects get bigger and bigger and scope get bigger and bigger, the, the money becomes more and more, and you, if you're really good at what you do, will have a job for life. I know tons of people in the video game industry, and they are having a huge problem trying to find good people. Believe it or not, there is a talent shortage, and I really wish there was a talent shortage when I graduated in 2008 during the worst recession ever. Had I graduated today, I probably would have had a really good job. But back then, it was really difficult just to even find work at, let's say, a Starbucks, believe it or not. So in conclusion, I absolutely believe that the video game industry is huge, and it only has room to grow. And if you really want to work in the video game industry, all you have to do is learn to code, and learn to code well, and I have a ton of videos on this, so please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, I want to know your comments down below. Is the video game industry really going up? Please write your comments down below. I really do enjoy reading them. Also, if you really like this channel, this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. More money to get for the content that you buy below, the more content on this channel we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. With your help, we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, and that way we can release 200 to 300 hours per month every single month. It really does help us out when you subscribe. We have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.